Welcome to another video. Uh, today I am going to be unboxing this Cardo Systems Spirit two-way Bluetooth intercom interphone whatever assembled in Ukraine Slava Ukraine uh, it's waterproof 400 meters 32 mil speakers um, I got the SRL2 to fit perfectly into my Shuri helmet um, but I want my pillion so the wife or our Kelsey to be able to talk to me at some point so I'm going to just unbox this and see what it's like inside it's not the most expensive one on the market this one actually cost me 87 quid uh, so let's have a look at what we have I believe that you can get a second helmet kit that this then just slides onto and you can take it off and all the speakers and microphone uh, are left in your helmet there you go start using your unit connect to the app so somebody will have to download an app stickers everybody loves stickers we have a pocket guide in english german english so we've got two in english it looks and the other one's in German and things like that, but I assume they're pretty much going to be the same thing. We'll soon find out. Installation guide. So we are sticking it on your helmet, waiting up to four hours, making sure you know, rub it with alcohol, pretty much the same stuff everywhere, connecting a few wires together. Put it behind the headline so it doesn't interfere with anything, and away you go. Safety, compliance, and warranty. Nobody reads that. Thank you for your purchase. So, what do you get in the box? Uh, you get a box, plastic, the actual module unit itself. I'm going to assume you can have a boom mic or another mic but I don't know yet so this bit here is your clip on it does actually look like it just clips on ah so you can either clip on or you can stick on the way it looks no maybe not I should really read instructions but don't know whether you can tell by now, but I don't like reading. I'm not very really good at reading, to be fair. So I'm going to see if this clip can come off. Being an engineer myself, where are we going? This should be easy enough. This is where I break stuff. I wish I hadn't done it. There you go. Look at that. So we can stick it on the side of the helmet and use this clip for a more permanent thing. Then we can click this in and then I believe you can get the same kit but without this unit and then you can just swap and change between it. So with this, if we, if we can, I might, uh, I don't know, I might, might use that, I might just stick it on but there are connections for it. Let's have a look what we've got in here. There's your speaker. They feel quite weighty. They're actually heavier than the, uh, the SRL ones. So they feel, they feel a good weight then, to be fair. Can't argue with that. Solid connection. And then you've got your microphone. Let's just see if we have, yes we do. So these are all your sticky bits. So you can stick it inside the helmet and then oh, let's Velcro it perfectly into place. Same with this side. That's done. 
And then we have a little microphone here. That we can stick on. Again, Velcro onto the front of your lid, right in front of your face. And again, it can be just plugged in as simple as that. So if you've got an open, fi open uh, face and you wanted the boom, that's all you need to do. There's nothing stopping you, I think, from uh, using this in a closed face mic, a closed face helmet. If you want it maybe closer to your mouth or whatever. If you've got a small peanut head. <laughs> but yeah, that is it. That's what you get in here. So yeah, I suppose if you don't want to stick it, and use the M3 sticky inside. You could probably Velcro it to the inside of your lid and then Velcro your speakers to it, which might be a better option to be fair if you want to be taking it in and out. If you want to take it in and out of your lid, then at least you can just peel everything away If that's just clicked on, you'll be able to just clip it off and take it away. So your charge point is underneath. This is quite a new one, really. This is USB-C, the SRL2. It's the old USB style, but uh, hey-ho, that's what you get. So... Let's go and charge this and then we'll stick it into the helmet. I'll decide whether we're going to stick it on. I really don't know yet. I might. If it'll clip on, I might just clip it on and then we'll use a Velcro. If it doesn't clip on easily and simply, then I'll just we'll just stick it onto the side of the lid and then We'll get another kit for the wife or kid. So a couple of things that I didn't show just these little clips. If you push these clips in, you'll be able to slide the bracket out, which will probably be easier if it was installed, but it just slides away. So this comes away. So if you've just got it clipped on using the clip again, clicks solidly into place that hold onto your helmet quite nice as well to be fair and the actual module itself uh, these contacts need to be in the back so it just fit into the let's take the charger out fit into the back end and then click it in place and to release it you push this little tab and it just comes away it's a really nice idea to be fair. I'm still a glad I'm still glad I got the uh the one that looks almost seamless into the helmet, but this is a good good sort of system. I like that. I've just got to decide whether I'm gonna use the clip and click it in. Hello little mosquito. Goodbye, Miss Mosquito. Anyway, um, <laughs> just deciding whether I'm going to clip it in or use the sticky bracket and put it as a more permanent, uh, permanent thing. It does look a little bit more discreet if you want than this clip underneath it. It still fit the same. I'll decide that when I put it on. I'm going to go charge it now. See you later.